Well, all eyes will be on Albany tomorrow as state lawmakers return to session with some bills ready to debate. And we know a couple of the things that they'll be looking at and potentially voting on. Two on your sides, Leanne Stuck has a closer look. Reforms are going to be in the spotlight in Albany as state lawmakers return to session tomorrow. We already know of a number of bills they'll be looking at and potentially voting on. On top of that list is reform or repeal of the 50A law, which prevents the public from being able to access officers' disciplinary records, a repeal necessary? that Governor Andrew Cuomo has advocated for. I'm, I'm supporting 50A. Uh, you know, reforms to 50A are, are necessary and, um, you know, we need transparency and we need accountability in law enforcement. Assemblymember Angelo Morinello said he wants to listen to debate before making a decision on the bill, but says he has concerns. With the repeal of 50A and amending the uh, FOIA law and the public officer's law, it now opens up the door to exposing un, un, these unfounded, unsubstantiated, and unverified claims. Other proposed bills include banning the use of police chokeholds statewide, automatically making the attorney general an independent investigator in cases of accused police misconduct, making false 911 calls based on race a hate crime, and requiring body cameras for New York State Police. And going through all the bills, Almost every one of them needs some work. And by that, I mean they're more knee-jerk reactions than they are well thought out. It's, it's sort of a fine line. You have to take the moment when it's here and, and make substantive change. But at the same time, you can't just react to the man, to demands uh, of people um, without fully deliberating it. Leanne Stock, Channel 2 News.